Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fortnite. I've got a good one here, especially for users that use iOS and, and maybe mobile. I don't know. I use iOS, so I, it may apply to uh, to other platforms like a, an Android platform as well. But uh, I have about 170,000 nodes in my workflow. -y, so I was recently trying to figure out how to scale it back was struggling to scale it back because what's in my workflow is there because I want to use workflow to do those things uh, so to delete you know 5,000 or 10,000 nodes would mean that I wouldn't be use work, using workflow say to write my novel or uh, to run my task list so I was really struggling I pulled up my other account I've got a paid pro version that that's what I use all the time and then I've got a free version that has nothing in it and I just use it occasionally to test to see if what's happening on my main account is also happening there to see if I can isolate uh, if there's a bug or something. So what I ended up doing, I'll cut to the chase, is I came up with uh, a, a, a kind of a workflowy light that I call workflowy briefcase. Um, and it came from thinking through, you know, what you're seeing here around me. In, in my office, I've got a, a you know a space for a whiteboard over there. I've got a reading nook over there. I've got printers and scanners, and this is my gaming and content creation station. That's my workstation, a physical inbox, and all that stuff. And supplies that that door over here uh, goes into a closet that has a bunch of office supplies. But when I leave the house, I can't carry all this with me as much as I would love to. Uh, but what I do carry with me. is that and in there is a laptop a notebook maybe a few files um, pen a thermos my coffee cup a water bottle and a few odds and ends and that services me well when I'm out and about so what I did was I took my main account which I call now to figure in order to identify one over the other call that my workflowy office and then I have my workflowy briefcase so let's jump over here and uh, take a look so what you're seeing here is my workflowy office it's my main account there's about 170,000 nodes in there and I do a ton of stuff in there I do a lot of work when I'm sitting here at the computer uh, not only do I have all these screens to make things easy and, and fast, but I also have w, WFX and the Power Pack, uh, keyboard shortcuts, and my Stream Deck to really streamline my work here. But what I've done, uh, so this is what you were just looking at was the Workflowy Chrome instance. This is the actual Workflowy PC app, and I've have. Uh, I have installed on this one my Workflow briefcase account. What you're looking at here, I mirror or, or I shared, I didn't mirror, I shared my capture log. So you can see, I'll, I'll jump back to Chrome. Here's my capture log, and then I'm going to jump back to my PC app. Same thing, because I've shared it. So it, it, it's a, in a sense, it mirrors it into uh, that account. So it syncs perfectly. So when I add something here, and then I jump back to my account. You can see it, it shows up there as well um, because I shared. So what I did is I shared my capture log. I shared this week right here of my calendar. I didn't share my whole calendar because there's, there's thousands of nodes in that between what's coming up in the future and then what I've archived for the last uh, year and a half or so. Um, I, sh I mirrored my will or I shared my will do and my flywheels. Now I'm going to jump over to Workflowy briefcase. I created inside of my briefcase account a mobile inbox and then I shared from my mobile inbox back to uh, my um, back to my Workflowy office and that's right here. Uh, you can see. Um, that's mirror. I could, I suppose, I could have created it here and then and then shared it over there. I think that would have functioned the same way. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, 
uh, that made sense at the time. And either way, it doesn't really doesn't really matter. I don't think. What that does for me, though, why I did that, why that's important, is because I had so many nodes, and I think because I have maybe complicated interactions and in how I've created my systems. When I would open up my Workflow app it would take anywhere from like 17 seconds to you know more than a minute to open up which just didn't make it very functional um, but now when I open it up check this out <laughs> let me jump to face cam this is so exciting now when I open it up instead of it taking essentially you know way too long it just opens up automatically um, and so everything that you see on the PC app is right here it it functions effortlessly, perfectly, rapidly. So what this is for is for people who have a large account or have noticed some degradation of their iOS experience with the uh, with the app. I know the team is working on that and trying to to you know to to build some stuff that's going to make it faster and less glitchy. But for now, this works for me, uh, and maybe it'll work for you. Uh, and so what I found is since I've done that a couple of days ago, whereas before I might only open up my iOS app 10 to 15 times a week, now I can actually build some systems that include the ability to open it up. So quickly I can open it up and jot a note on, in the inbox. I can update my capture log effortlessly. Um, I can check my tasks and check off my tasks on on the uh, on the app um, update a calendar if my you know if something comes up that's coming up uh, in the next you know within this next week uh, I can quick jot that down uh, so it really has made it so functional that I wanted to share so it might work for you um, and uh, until until the team has figured out how to 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 build things such that it it opens up large accounts quickly. Um, this will serve uh, to to make my iOS a functional part of my workflow systems again, and it might work for you. So, hope that helps. Good luck.